puppies are here. Maybe stay. They just need to go and do their thing first. So let the puppies do their thing first, and then we'll go and look at the grounds. just heard that the builder or the owner said to the builder spare no expense and apparently the acreage is here over 500 acres of land <laughs> can't actually go inside so you can go a group of 10 I think then they open it up but otherwise you're pretty much on your own just exploring the outside and that's what we're gonna do so Floating in a in a vase at dinner, or having like three of them just floating. You you can pick, you dry them, and they're all done in arrangements when they're dried. They're huge. Oh my God! Look at that. They're crazy. Yeah, look at that one. Look at it. How big that is. Chinese oh, Some honeysuckle. Yeah. Wow. Italian. Black eyed something, aren't they? Daisies? No.
through. Mother and baby, yeah. mother and baby. You go, do your thing, social distance. Perfect. See you later. Okay, that concludes our tour. Now we're done. And I think it's time for an ice cream. It's still warm, so I'm gonna go to Beacon Hill and check that out. It's an old drive through It's been around since the 50s or 60s. So let's check that out. So we're by Beacon Hill Park, which is behind me, and that's Beacon Hill drive through It's been around forever, but Really good burgers. And you got the park behind me, Beacon Hill Hill Park. It's quite big, I believe it's around 500? 500 acres, so not small. But let's get an ice cream and enjoy that. I don't know, that's a small, but. <laughs> it's good. Fox Mile Zero started in Newfoundland and was supposed to finish in Victoria, BC, running across country, raising awareness for cancer. Wow. Got a few more minutes to kill before we have to have a cocktail. So we just ended up at the Fisherman's Wharf. It's a collection of um, houseboats and they're very colorful, so let me show you. So apparently the fish and chips is what the Fisherman's Wharf is known for, so not gonna have any as we're going for Japanese tonight. Haven't had sushi for a while. Not only can you have fish and chips, you can have your Mexican seafood, all kinds of things in here. Pizza. Let's explore a little bit down here. Oh, that's locked off. But see, you can see all the different houseboats that are in here. It's only open to the residents. This one is really unique. It seems to have a little bit of a character. That lady. Apparently we have 
to have that. A mini donut. My God, the powdered sugar flies all over the place. But bite size. Mmm. The best. Oh, incredible. <laughs> you just can't have one. You need two, three, five, ten. <sighs> Sugar. So after a martini or two and a half, we're going for sushi now. I haven't had sushi since, really good sushi since the whole thing started. Oh my, oh my, the food was incredible. All done, way too much to eat. The restaurant is called Gosen, G-O-Z-E-E-N, on, what street was that? Broughton, in Victoria. Give it a, a thumb up and it's amazing so check it out if you ever get to victoria really good good morning early 6 30. Uh, we have to pick up the dogs and we have a long day ahead of us driving back, but on the way back, I hope to see some great things, so. Well, like I told you earlier in the video, Tim Hortons, we're getting a coffee, we're getting some breakfast sandwich or something, but, oh, we need my coffee. It's now 7.20. We got a few minutes before we pick up the dogs, so. Mmm, coffee and something quick to eat. Here's a viewpoint uh, on the Malahat Highway, so very top. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you a really beautiful view. just down the road and the views are much closer to the ocean so and just in case you didn't notice blue sky and sunshine gonna be a gorgeous day the smoke is all blown away don't know where it went but I don't care Tesla charging station just 
getting some free charging and a few hundred kilometers on there and then we continue on. The puppy's out for a market uh, that's where the goats are on the roof and want to find out want to know why they actually have goats on the roof French of the owner in the 70s as a joke put the goats on the roof and they've been there ever since very cute I'll show you a photo. don't like those bikes but I'm gonna show you inside show you the goats and what it looks like Really incredible market, but it has changed a lot over the years. Not as cute as it used to be when I first got here in 87, so.
a little bit of a mess. So this is Coombs uh, Country Market. We even got to see the goats, so which is cool. A lot of stuff you can buy inside. So we're off to Comax now, where our ferry leaves at 3.30. There's the FBI, the Fanny Bay Inn. Apparently used to be an old biker bar. Not anymore. We bought some candied salmon, maple syrup candied salmon. Oh, this is so delicious. Mm. Just beautiful. Mm. Scrumptious. So not just maple syrup candied salmon, this is candied salmon with peppercorns or pepper on it, which is probably my favorite. Really good. Mm. And I'm hungry. Just need to find a place to eat and to drink and then take it from there. good place uh, has a good view of the ocean and the marina and had some bellinis some prawns crab cakes and then mac and cheese with crab meat so it was good but costs you a penny still recommend it go check it out if you're ever in Comox so Wendy taking out the puppies for a little bit of a walk down at the beach till we have to hit the ferry. see how that goes. Maybe this time I can take some video from the ship. Really couldn't do that when we crossed to, from Langdale or Gibsons to Horseshoe Bay and then uh, to Boston to Victoria as the weather was so crappy. But look, it's gorgeous. So we're in Sultry Bay, waiting for the ferry. Supposed to be here soon. 